Hello guys, today I want to explain to you what are hidden properties in Eloquent models. So this is a typical Laravel user model, default user model, and you may find these fields hidden. But do you understand hidden from what? In what situations? The comment says the attributes should be hidden for serialization. What is exactly that serialization and where it is applicable in practice? Let's take a look at some API calls. Let's imagine we have API for user controller with show method, and then we just return that user with route model binding. And what do you think? That user will contain password and remember token or not? First, let's DD user to see what's inside. And if we launch that API request, I have that under API user slash one, and we have attributes and the attributes do have password, of course, encoded password, encrypted, and then remember token. So those are here. Now, let me show you the magic. If you return user from the API call like this, there are actually two layers of magic. First, did you know that Laravel would automatically transform that to JSON? If the result of your controller return is eloquent model, it would automatically be transformed to JSON. And for that, I will show you that in the Postman API client, the same request. And what does it return? Returns the user, but do you see the password and remember token here? I don't. So this is exactly where that magic happens. Serialization means transforming the object to JSON or to array. And under the hood, this is exactly what is happening. Or if you do something like manual response and then JSON user would be the same result. Send, same result, password and remember token are hidden. And that is logical if you think about it. For APIs, we shouldn't expose too much data. For web requests, usually, we get all the model, we transform it to whatever we want, and we show that to the view of the blade, for example, and we don't expose that data to the browser client. So our user model may contain password and remember token, but if we don't show them in the blade, it's secure. For the API, it's not the case. Quite often, there's a risk to overexpose, show the full model with some secret or more sensitive data. Under the hood, how it works if you're interested in the framework in the vendor folder, there's a response class in Illuminate HTTP and there's a function set content. And there's this block that you should be interested at. If this should be JSON, then we transform it to JSON with morph to JSON and that morph to JSON inside we have this. So we transform it to JSON or to array and then JSON encode. But in both of those cases, the result is JSON. So next time you're working with the API in Laravel, try to hide the unnecessary data that should be protected in hidden of your eloquent model. And if you want to learn more about how to create APIs in general, I have at least a few courses that touch on that. API is created inside of the course about React.js plus Laravel, then Vue.js plus Laravel, and then there's a separate course about how to create Laravel API. It's a bit older with Laravel 7, but still 99% relevant. So choose one of those courses by subscribing to membership on mylaraveldaily.com. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.